What's up guys, welcome to another video. It's a battery building video, finally. I've been promising you guys this video for a few weeks now and I'm finally getting around to it. So right here, sorry my cats are fighting. Hey! Okay, I think they're chilling out. So right here I have four Sino Poly 200 amp power lithium iron phosphate, whoop, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Focus. Anyway, so we have four of these, so we're gonna make a 12 volt battery pack because all my batteries up to this point are gonna be 12 volts. For the BMS, we're gonna be using a DALI 250 amp BMS. So this is a big boy with a Bluetooth dongle so we can connect it to the cell phone and see, you know, make sure we have a working battery. Here's the balance harness. And then here are my bus bars. They're just uh, copper lugged whatever's. So. And then I got all the bolts and stuff. So first thing you want to do when you get a fresh batch of cells, you need to top balance those. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And basically to top balance these cells, basically what you're going to do is all the positives and all the negatives. Not gonna put a ton of torque on these. They don't require a lot of torque. Uh, not in this stage, at least. Gonna be taking them back on and off. Just tighten them enough to get a good connection. And if you're secure with the connection, then these are good to go. It is easy to over tighten and strip these, so. Make sure you look up the torque specs of your specific battery and don't over torque them because you will strip these terminals out and then you're going to be putting a helicoil in it to fix it. And those four are connected. So this is a very good beginner guide to making a battery. And this applies to 24 volt systems, 36, 48, whatever. The only difference is there's just more cells. Uh, if I would have bu if I would have bought bus bars, this part would be a lot easier. So if you're gonna do this yourself, just buy the bus bars. I tried to not and wanted to make my own, and this ended up being way more work. So just a little tidbit that I learned. Learn from me. No mistakes. back sorry okay so what I'm gonna use to top balance my batteries is one of these but you can also use a power supply and you set this the power supply to 3.65 volts for lithium iron phosphate so for my specific chemistry yoink plug in the battery charger I'm just running this off a smaller battery I'm not gonna fully top balance these in this video. I'm just gonna show you guys the process and then do it off camera because these are 200 amp hour cells. So this would probably take, I don't know, probably a few days because I'm only using a small charger at only a couple of amps. Set it to one cell. Here, I'll bring you guys in closer. Okay, so we got our batteries all paralleled up for top balancing. Let's see if I can get this without the glare. I'm doing this in my kitchen. I don't really have a place to do this just yet. So we're gonna know this. Lithium iron life feed, lithium iron phosphate, one cell. We're just gonna do eight amps. Like I said, it's gonna take forever to actually do that. Do you wanna perform it unbalanced? And yes, because we're only doing one cell. And that's it. So you just basically are going to let this go until all your batteries are at 3.65 volts and they will each be at the same exact voltage because they're all parallel together. This is very important if you get raw cells and you need to do this in order for your cells to be matched. If you don't do this, 
when you start using your battery a lot, the battery is going to become unbalanced. Even though you have a BMS that's going to help balance it, this is just kind of helping the battery kind of stay at the same level or whatever. So that's it. You're going to do this until your cells are completely done. So let's assume my cells are completely done. We're going to go ahead and go to the next step where we're going to hook the battery in series, install our BMS, power the BMS on, and show you guys the battery working. Hey, guys. All right, so the last video, all our cells are top balanced. Go away, fly. Sorry, there's a fly in the freaking house. Can't do nothing about that. I'm not fast enough to catch it. Anyways, pay attention to this video and I'll show you guys how to make your battery complete. So we have four cells. They're all top balanced, just like I showed you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and rotate these to this configuration. All right. So we have positive, negative, neg or positive, negative, positive, negative. That's how you want your battery to sit. Next, we're gonna connect our bus bars. So pick one end of the battery to be your main, not, your main negative and your main positive. So this will be my main negative, this will be my main positive. So we're gonna go negative to positive, negative. So there's your first connection. And look, I'm not gonna install these tight because we gotta put the balance harness on, but one step at a time. And then negative to positive, negative. Second connection here, and so on and so forth. And you're just creating a series circuit using your batteries. Simple, right? So, last one goes here. Boom, super, super simple. And then your BMS is gonna go on the negative side. So you take your BMS with a Bluetooth dongle, in my case, and you're gonna take the P negative, or actually, I'm, I'm lying, you're gonna take the B negative, which is the blue wire in this case, and you're gonna go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and attach it right here. All right, so the only thing we're missing is a positive terminal and our balance harness. So the way you connect a balance harness, if you've never done it, is you have one black wire followed by a, a bunch of red wires. But if you pay attention really closely, let me make sure you guys can get this. And this part's really important if you don't want to fry your BMS. So the black wire, this is your main negative, and then you're just going to count backwards. So negative to the next positive, to the next positive, to the next positive, and then your last positive. That's how I do it. So, but these have to be in line. And if you need, if you don't think you've done it right, you can take a multimeter, and I'll show y'all when I'm done. Is you can check the voltages here. And once you're sure this is good, it's safe to plug into your BMS. If you do this stuff wrong, you could possibly fry something. So be really careful, really pay attention, really know what you're doing, because this is really the hardest step, in my opinion, of doing this. If you've gotten this far, I'm sure this will be no problem. But just kind of be extra careful, because it's easy to get the wires switched up. I've done it before. Luckily, I caught it before I plugged it in and fried something. But it's our main negative. Like I said, the black wire. Boom, and then just kind of torque that down. I'm not going to go crazy because i got to take this back apart to put into a main battery anyways. And that's it. Now you're going to take your second wire, so that's next, right next to the black, and I'm going to go to this positive. Go away, fly. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Because essentially, that's how it checks each battery and it, and it balances it. Okay. So that's our next one. Now you're going to go to the middle one. We're gonna to go to this positive. Ooh, don't touch that. If this was with bus bars, I promise it'd be a lot easier. So if you have the chance to buy bus bars for your specific setup, just buy the bus bars. They're not even expensive, really. I mean, not compared to what this probably costs to build. I just thought I could do it myself and it was way more work than I thought, so. Okay, next wire. Go to the next positive. It doesn't matter really which terminal you put on it. Essentially, you want the wire to be on that connect, on that series connection if you pay attention. So some people will say that one, some people will say that one, it doesn't matter. I'm on a bus bar, you can put it right in the middle, which would probably be ideal, honestly, for voltage balancing purposes. Wait, let me go back and tighten these up. So that one's snugged up, that one's snugged up. Snugged up. Bank, that one's good. Tighten this one up. And I'll get us a uh, connector or something to put right here. We'll use this. So now we're down to our last wire on our connector. That's our most positive. So that's going to go on your positive output. So your BMS is on the negative, and then you just have your straight wire coming on your positive side. Cool. Now I'm going to turn the battery around, and we'll do some measurements. 
That way you guys can see the fun side. All right, we don't push this off the counter. It's very heavy. These are big cells. I've never had lithium iron phosphate cells this big. I'm impressed. That's all I can say about that. Okay, so you guys can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna move the camera right now. I wasn't recording any of that. Are you serious? Actually, I gotta take all this back apart. <laughs> all right, gang. BMS is mounted. All the connections are good. Anderson power bowl. The only thing left to do is hot glue this right here. So I'll do that probably later or never. And I'm gonna get my phone to show you guys the voltage and all that good. Check this out, bank. I love these uh, Bluetooth BMSs. If you guys aren't using them, you should get one. So I haven't calibrated the SOC yet. I gotta fully charge this battery. And then there's our cell voltages. So not too bad. All right, so the next thing to do is get the inverter mounted. So I'm gonna probably take this table and set it on the thing. Then I'll put a big old boat anchor inverter on that, and then I'm going to plug it in and let it charge for a little while. Something like that.